Yo, so what is going on guys? It is Wimble G Squid here and welcome to part 10 already here in my playthrough of the Black Ops 6 campaign on Veteran, of course. That's what makes my playthrough different than most other people's, but uh, I've been loving this campaign so far. Yesterday I did Ground Control and Under the Radar, and uh, I may, I'm going to read Under the Radar because I actually, we didn't get to go to the safe house, so I didn't get to read the debriefing for this, but obviously I already beat the mission on Veteran. But anyways, Sev's, talk, uh, Sev's taking point on the ground so we can assess and sabotage the Pantheon's defenses at Vork. Kuda. After she does the deed, the rest of us will fly in and mop the Pantheon up. Need to snatch the cradle before it leaves that hellhole and disable the Pantheon's base defenses in Vorkuta before apprehending the, the cradle. This is actually a really fun level. Ground control was like a very action-packed level. That was a lot of fun. The end of that level was insane. And then, um, yeah, dude, oh my goodness. High rollers was phenomenal. Emergence was phenomenal. The cradle was a very action-packed level. Like, bro, every single level in this campaign has been incredible. Literally. My least favorite is probably this one. Because it was the shortest, but then again, it's the first mission. It's supposed to just be, you know, an introduction to the game's mechanics and everything. So anyways, we are going into the Rook interrogation because at the end of last episode, we did capture Harrow at Vorkuta. And uh, so we flew back with her. So the Rook interro interrogation says, I've been patient with Jane so far, but no angles paying off. She's too disciplined and stubborn to lay it all out. And forget about Felix's suggestions. Dude's crazy. Might have to consider other options. All right. So you can see my operator perks right there as well that I are the, all the ones I have unlocked. But anyways, let's resume last mission. Actually, I'm just going to restart this. I think there's going to be a cutscene um, from the end of last level. We're on our way. They're wasting their time in there. She's not going to give anything up. Just be patient. Hey, we got a problem. Are still playing hard to get? Big surprise. She had something embedded in her forearm, a device. Felix thinks it's a tracker of some kind. They know where we are? We should assume that. Then let's get out of here. Take her someplace else. No, we don't have time to relocate. We make our stand here. The Pantheon wonder they're gonna have to fight for her on our turf. We need to get her to talk before that happens. Does sound like she's on a schedule. Leave that to me. I've got something tucked away that'll help. I just need some time to prepare. You're okay with this, Marshal. Right? Get on it. The rest of us will start fortifying the house. If you've got any unfinished business around here, now's the time to take care of it. Okay. Once we get started on Harrow, we're in it for the long haul. <clears throat> Alright, so we can talk to Adler, and I'm assuming we can talk to Woods in a second as well. So, what is the next level? Yeah, Vorkuda's down there. The next level is... Wait. What is it? pantheon in the middle it can't be because that's where no it is separation anxiety interesting wait so there's bishop takes rook there's blood feud there's most wanted but where's oh yeah there's hunting season where's the cradle at though is the cradle combined with hunting season yeah where's uh where's the cradle at i was gonna say there's no way they have every single level on this board because it seems like I don't even know. Like we gotta get, be, be, we gotta be getting close to the end of the campaign because look at how filled up this board's getting. Like it's, it's getting crazy. All right, so let's talk to let's talk to Woods Here's first. the board when you want to get Harrow in here. Okay, so we will talk to Adler. We We're should be able to ready. actually talk to him. Yep. Complete every available dialogue tree and every visit to the Rook. Oh, okay, cool. Um, we're almost ready. How well did you know Harrow? What are you putting together? I'm gonna ask him. This. Obviously not well enough. When Harrow arrived at Langley, she held a lot of promise. Curiosity, intellect, ambition. I tried to guide her in those early years. Maybe I wasn't the right one for the job. Harrow's ambition was misdirected? Yep. Well, it certainly served her well in her career. She now holds the most sway in the Special Activities Division behind Livingston himself. What are you putting together? Its official name is Phoenix Sorazine, but MK Ultra coined its separation. I've had it for a while. Let's hope it doesn't have an expiration date. What does it do? In most test subjects, it fragmented their psyche, a form of induced schizophrenia. We're going to find the part of Harrow that's willing to talk to us. What happened to the other test subjects? 
Don't ask. <laughs> oh man! All right, it's all for now. Soon. Okay. So I remember in the trailers, I didn't really watch the campaign trailers too much, but I specifically remember one of the most iconic parts was Woods with a shotgun in his wheelchair, like turning and like, you know, like I, th I think I'm assuming it was in the safe house. So maybe, um, you know, because we're if that is a tracker that's on Harold, then obviously we're going to be defending the safe house. Like Marshall said, we're going to be trying to take a stand here and defend the place. But um, yeah, that's that's interesting because I want to see when Woods actually grabs a shotgun and starts just like blasting people but okay wait where's everybody else where's seven felix though did sev leave again because i couldn't find sev last time either when we were in the rook last time um she probably left again dude but where's felix at i didn't even see felix in the uh in the cutscene. like as soon as we got here i didn't even see that but yeah, so are we going to be done with the Rook after this? Because there's still... We got to be getting close to the end of the campaign if we're done with the safe house. Because I mean, this is the 10th mission, but... All right, here we go. So, I want to spend... Should I spend all my cash or not yet, dude? I really don't know. But you know what? There was something that costed 1000 that I actually do want to buy. I think it's over here. It's, it gives me like a speed boost when I take damage. But it costs 1000 which is absurd. But maybe it'll be good. Resolute, taking damage from gunfire provides a minor boost to movement speed for a short duration. I'm going to buy this. Because I did get a safe. Did I get a safe last time? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I remember. Um, then I could do less flinch. Less flinch would definitely be good. Temporary health boost? You know what? I'm going to get that as well. Because, again, I am on veteran. I need stuff like that. All right. Now let's go over to the gear station and let's see what else I can do over here. Have I upgraded my armor fully? Yes, I have. But then homing knife? Doing more damage? Homing knife is sick. Uh, carry two of each additional equipment. Again, I'm pretty sure that's only takedowns on elites. But should I buy it just, just in case? Magnetic could be good. Quick fix. I think I'm only going to spend like... Maybe a... Th I think I'm going to spend a thousand more. Coach grenades no longer explode in your hand. Um... Sure, let's do quick fix and then... I think I'm going to go over to the weapons bench now because I know I can get some extra ammo. I think I'm going to buy the extra ammo clip from this. So, yeah, carry two additional magazines. Yeah, that's 250. And we'll do faster weapon reload as well. And then, all right, I'm going to buy one more thing. Should I do ADS speed or maybe hipfire spread? Decre decrease sway when using a scope definitely could be good. Or bullet penetration. You know what? I'm going to do bullet penet. Or, you know what? No, I'm going to do unrelenting gunner. Unrelenting Gunner seems pretty good, obviously, for LMGs. And then I could buy a variant. You know what, dude? Should I buy a variant? Should I? Because I want to buy... If I buy a variant, I'm going to buy the Truth Serum one because that's the gun I use. I, I Out of these three guns, that's my favorite. The Amez. I love the Amez. Um, exclusive for multiplayer in Warzone and Zombies. It doesn't say Zombies, though. But you know what? I think I'm going to do it, guys. Ah, or should I? No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I have enough. Boom. There we go. I got an extra weapon variant. Got one of the weapon variants from the campaign. Or the blueprint, whatever you want to call them, dude. So yeah, I don't think anybody else is around here. I think, um... Oh yeah, Marshall's not even here either. Marshall, Sev, or Felix. Unless they're upstairs. But anyways, let's, um, let's get into it, guys. Separation Anxiety is the name of the mission. So, I never imagined it would come to this with Jane. Adler's plan may be risky, but we've got nothing to lose at this point. And, um... Get Harrow to reveal the details of Pantheon's imminent attack is the main objective. And then we get a charm as well. Is that the cradle in that charm? I think it is, because that's the case we found in the cradle, I think. Uh, the mission. Uh, get a kill with 12 different weapons in checkmate. Wait, what? Checkmate? Apparently, we're going to be doing checkmate. The mission's called checkmate, but it's also called separation anxiety. I don't know, maybe half of it's going to be separation anxiety, like the interrogation or whatever, and then the rest is going is to be checkmate. But, alright, let's do this, guys. Here we go. Um, you will no longer be able to freely explore the Rook. Are you sure you want to continue? Oh, boy. Are you serious? Um, dang, I want to stay. I, I like this place a lot. Okay, hold on. Well, I might as well spend all the cash I have, right? 340? What do I do, man? What do I do? Uh, what would be the best thing to spend my last? I can only do one more 250 thing. Yeah, that's all I can afford. Um, should I do reduced flinch? I might go with that one, but hold on. Let me check gear station one more time. I'm probably going to go with reduced flinch. Uh, 
I mean, like, these ones would be good, but, yeah, I think I'm going to go with reduced flinch, guys. I think so. Let's do that. 80% reduced flinch. That should be really, really useful. Okay, guys, here we go. My character is quite buffed up now. Spent all my cash. Again, there is probably, you know, some cash in the levels that I missed, but, um... I would say I got most of it, especially like especially because I had to redo the first five levels or whatever. But anyways, here we go, guys. Separation anxiety. Launch mission. Yep. Point of no return. Let's do it. This won't be an exact science. Think she'll survive it? Probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> All this really necessary. I am outnumbered five and a half to one. Just give me a fucking reason. Enough bullshit. Just tell us what you're doing with that bioweapon. This doesn't have to get ugly. Well, where's the fun in that? Jane? <laughs> please, okay? You're better than this. Oh, you don't even know you can do it. <laughs> We've both made our choices, Troy. I stand by mine, do you? <clears throat> I miss the old you. Ah. <laughs> Let's see if she's still in there. from the rest. We need your help, Jane. There's a bioweapon, and you're planning an attack of some kind. Can you tell me about it? I can try. But I... I would never do something like that. This is insane looking this is in one of the trailers as well i do remember that like where are you right now i'm home yeah this is crazy looking dude this reminds me of the bo3 campaign oh. Reminds me of the origins, like ending cutscene in Samantha's room. Any cash in here? <laughs> no, I don't even think we can get cash anymore. Jane, sweetie, listen to me. You're bleeding. Uh, I, I'll be fine. I had a little accident. That's all. Mommy needs you to stay in your room. Why do you have a gun? J Jane, just get under your bed and stay there as long as you can, okay? It's like you're playing hide and seek. I don't want to. Jane, Jane, please get under the bed, okay? Just get under the bed. I love you. I love you too. Okay. 
childhood memory. Your mother was in danger? Yes. Why do you think you're remembering this now? I've never stopped remembering this, Troy. It made me who I am. Or was. Or will be. I don't... I don't know anymore. What about the cradle? Does that name mean anything to you? Maybe. Something to do with my mirror. Your mirror? Yes. Someone that knows... Someone that knows is inside. Don't you fucking dare. You, you don't, don't need to tell them anything. I need to know. Keep your mouth shut! Jane, you all right? I'm somewhere else. I have to fix the mirror. Put the pieces back together. Win a shard by searching round. Solve the clues for numbers found. These three numbers you must glean, then put them in the order scene. Uh, win a shard by searching round. When I was a girl, my mother loved making scavenger hunts for me. Wait, there's a code we need to get? Um, hang on a second. This is, uh, it's kind of hard to see in here with all this, like, like in a blizzard, dude. Where you now? I'm... I'm in Vercuda. Vercuda? You were there recently. That's where you scaled up the bioweapon. Where did it go after that? I don't remember. Can't go that way. Hold on. So there is a way we can go over here, but I just can't... What, over here? It's gotta be over here, right? Unless I... I can't jump at all. Oh, right here. Okay, there's a door. Oh, my goodness. This is the building we were in last time? In Under the Radar? I... No, it's def definitely different looking. Yeah, this is, uh... This is pretty crazy. What is this? Working hard, wanting more, always seek the highest score. Okay. So... Wait, what did I just see? Wait, oh. The score is right here. Score 9, well done. Oh, but I can't actually, like, do anything with this, I don't think. Yeah. 1960, it says on there. See me after class. <laughs> okay. Well, but I can't go anywhere else. I can't go upstairs. Hold on, what? I'm... I swear I can't do anything right here. I need to go... Oh. Okay, the TVs are on. Okay, so her house got invaded when she was uh when she was just a kid, I guess, but I don't have the shard, right? So then I mean I don't wanna have to come all the way back here, but I, I can't do anything. Hold on. Hold on, dude. Should've just checked this, but I'm pretty positive that I did this correctly. There's nothing I can do over here. Um yeah, when I try to hold X on the uh, on the paper, it just reads the paper again. So, can't do that. All right, so let's go all the way to the other side then. I don't know how I'm going to get these shards, but... Yeah, because, I mean, I there's three areas and there's three shards, and I just went to one of them and I didn't get a shard. So, I, I'm a little confused, but I'll keep going over this way. Oh, there's some shards, some giant shards. All the thing is still floating like crazy. Okay, this way looks good. Oh, we got a nice door. Let's 
going on in here? Oh, we're like inside but outside. Nice tent. What is this? Count them all and let's begin. Trophies minus badges will get the win. Trophies minus badges will get the win? Hold on. Trophies minus badges? Now, hold on. So, there's four, right? There's four right there. Soccer championship. Orchestra concert merit award. Sluggers. Spelling bee winner. Um, so, six minus... Five, right? That's what it should be, unless I'm missing one. So I gotta remember that that's one. My mother loved the thrill of the hunt. Okay. Of a puzzle. I think I understand. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I think I understand now. That's why I loved having you by my side all those years. So. I miss it too, Troy. The first one, I couldn't actually look at the papers, but it said the highest score, which was nine, right? Yeah, the highest score, I'm pretty positive, was nine. And then this one is one with the uh, trophies minus badges. So nine and one. And then the last one is somewhere... Uh, what is in here? What the heck? Okay. Something going on up here. Okay, we have. Yep, the last one. They came for tea and friendly chat. Count the guests and double that. Count the guests and double that. All right, so. Dude, these doors, like, <laughs> the door is shutting behind me and everything. So, count the guests and double that. So. The horse, so four, so eight it must be. Four times two is eight. So what is it, nine, one, eight are the numbers we need? Because, yeah, now we go back down here. We have to complete the scavenger hunt. I'm trying to pick you at a tea party. <laughs> they happen, Troy, though okay. it didn't last. Now Some we go. people retreat into their imaginations after tragedy. Wait. I did the opposite. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Now they're in the middle. Working hard, wanting more. Always seek the highest score. So, obviously it is nine. But then... So, all these things that we just found are over here now. Yeah, there's this one. Then put them in the order scene. Oh, desk, scouts, tea party. Okay. Whoa, wait. Oh, we seek the highest score, trophy. Yeah, so then desk, scouts, tea party. Oh, no, right here. Okay, that's what the code is. All right, so what was it? It was nine, one, um, eight, right? Okay, is that it? Yep, there's a shard. A shard. Two more after this one. Progress, Troy. You got something for me? Getting closer. Okay, so we place this. Here goes. Oh. Jane. My mother told me to stay under the bed, but I didn't. Oh no. Oh no. Jay, no, go. Oh no, man. Told me this. 
about how they died. It's not something you needed to know, Troy. I'm somewhere else again. I've been here before. A lab. They're taking something. The Pantheon stole a bioweapon from a U.S. lab. Do you remember? It's starting to come back to me. Toggle flashlight. Oh, we have a gun. Okay, we are going to be fighting. Okay. So we can go up there. It looks like we have to go that way. Just wanted to knock that helmet down, that hat. Oh, wait. So this this is like the um the one facility emergence that we were in. Oh, yeah, this is the combat area down. Oh, that's where we fought that abomination. I hope we don't have to do that again. Oh, no. If I see another abomination, dude. You okay? Yes. Oh, there, there's a mirror shard here. Above me. Find it. We're gonna unblock you. Get those answers. It's not gonna Are be this cooperating easy. cooperating with them? The lift has no power. Looks like it's connected to several generators. Power up the generators. How many are there, though? Four generators? Okay. Let's see. There's probably going to be zombies around here, if I had to guess. What was that sound? Oh. Oh, no. They're actual Jane Harrow zombies. Uh, I got to watch my ammo. I know we need more. I just want to see what Still happens. Unpowered. Still unpowered. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, the mannequins are going to come alive, aren't they? Is this a maze? Oh, heck no, dude. How's it going? You okay. For me? It's going to take time, Troy. I guarantee you these mannequins are going to start moving. Guarantee you. Like, probably as soon as I turn the generator on. I'll be very surprised if the mannequins don't move. What are these sounds I'm hearing, dude? Okay, ammo refill helps out. Another one. This drug they gave us won't last forever. I'll be back. Oh, geez. What was that? Nothing. You worked so hard for this. You want to just I jump over? Away? No, I can't. I hear another yep, another zombie. This is such an interesting like bro, this campaign is phenomenal. This campaign is so good, dude. It's absolutely I I can't believe how good this campaign is. But at the same time I can because when you give these developers 4 years to work on a game, this is what you get. You get in a you get an incredible game, you know. Okay, music disc from Origins. That's for the um the gramophone, the white music disc. But, jet. Oh my gosh, bro. The heck is going? Okay, that. Do you understand how suspicious that looks, dude? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! It's in here. I gotta go in here. One way in, one way out. Yup, yup, yup! I knew it was gonna be scary. I knew it, dude. Oh my goodness, dude! Oh my goodness. I actually just got... I just got extremely, extremely scared right there. Dude, I knew as soon as we went in there, something was gonna happen, man. I knew it. I knew it because <laughs> there's only one way in, one way out, man. I knew something was gonna come up behind me. Jeez, that was scary. Good thing the ladder opened up, dude. What am I hearing? Okay. Alright, well. Now. Oh, wait, no. We don't have to go in there. Yeah, so I gotta go over to the other side over here. Somewhere in here. Yep, there's the last generator, but how do I get in? I gotta open this door. Oh, it opened. I appreciate that. Do not shut behind me, though. Oh, look at that. Okay. I 
right, so got to open this door. Oh my gosh, bro. These scares. It's locked. It is locked, bro. The heck do I unlock it? Is there another way I can go, actually? Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, there we go. I made it around. Okay, so... Wouldn't let me shoot him there, but just wanted to see what happened. Okay. Now I'm probably gonna get scared again, huh? The lift's powered now. Troy doesn't really care about you anymore. He's using you. Okay, I gotta keep the flashlight on for now. I can open it now, though. Yep. Bro, what are these? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh no! 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 There's so many heroes, dude. Holy. <laughs> this, I'm telling you, this is insane. So, alright, the lift's powered now. Let's see if we can do this now. That's it. You got to that shark? Almost there. Was I ever this foolish? Helping the people that ruined us? Troy would do the same for me. So would the others. Oh, there's a ladder, okay. Thought I was gonna have to do a little bit of parkour. You really don't remember anything, do you? We've moved on. Leave me alone. Okay, as long as I don't slide down this. Alright, one to go. Another mirror shard. I don't want to go through this again, Troy. You can do it. Whatever you experience, it seems to be a part of the process. What is this? Who sent you? I really hope that's not like Adler or something. There's no way that's Adler. Wait. Wait. I, I... Dang. I would only understand this moment years later. Who is that? 